So let's combine all our drawings that we made into one folder or one file. So all these stuff, uh, I'm going to save, uh, save, save. And the only one that I really want open is a new folder or the original folder that you should have made, which has the, uh, the roof plan and the floor elevations. And for mine, it's going to be named collision hyphen comp for uh, composition or something like that. Okay. And what we're going to do is to insert the other files into that. So I'll say file or insert uh, that. Uh, I'll choose a several of those different um, files. So go to Insert tab, and then go to Insert way over on your left-hand side of your ribbon. And once that happens, you you get to choose to browse your file. Okay. So for this one, I am going to go to my Arc 16 Winter the Collision Building. And I guess I'll start off from the top. Uh, the floor plan, select that, open. And then once I have that on there, um, insertion point I will specify on screen. The scale, since it should have been corrected when I, uh, when I, when I opened up the files to check it and correct all the layers and stuff, I just want it as a uniform scale, one-to-one -one, uh, scale. Okay, if you did not correct those things uh, and you dropped it in as no scale, you will have to do that after you drop in, uh, drop your file into this folder. I'm sorry, not this folder, this file, this drawing document. Okay, rotation, we want to keep as zero because we want to still keep it as, uh, as uh, looking pretty much straight as we set it. So if you say OK, it will give me the little cursor point and I will say insert right there. Whoops, maybe I did not change it. <laughs> Distance. <coughs> yeah, it looks like I did not change this one. OK, so I'll scale it right here in here right now. So scale 48, zoom extends. And this one should be 18 feet. EI, check that. And yes, it is 18 feet. So good. Uh, now I want to do that to all the others. So file, insert, um, go to browse. I'll do the 14 foot floor plan right now. Am I working on the wrong? Let me try something. Insert, browse. Um, no, that should be it. Come on. 14 foot open, and everything is the same. And that one, I guess I did do it correctly. So I will place it somewhere <coughs> on here. Okay, and then same thing. I will go to insert again and go to the 22 foot open. Okay, and there it is. So I have my three, three floor plans uh, from the four foot, the 14 foot, and 22 foot floor plan. Uh, now I am going to set uh, bring in the sections that I made. Now I'll put a line of them over here and line of them over here. Right now it doesn't matter exactly where it goes. I will we'll clean this up a little later. Okay, so let's go to insert again. Insert, browse, and I will go to the section A1. Okay, okay, and that's section A1. Okay. Insert, let me check something. Yes, this, these are all right because we did it on, not on the 
layout space. Okay, so again, layout, not layout, pfft, insert, uh, browse, section A2, open, okay, section A2. Same thing, hit the enter button to, to recall the com last command. Select section A3, okay, boom. Enter to recall the, uh, the last command, section A4. And that should line up somewhere in there. Okay, browse and then go, go do the same thing with the B sections. Okay, so there I have my floor plans, sections, and the elevations as well as the roof plan. Um, we are going to need to do some cleanup with uh, some of the um, some of the what you call it the floor floor plans um, because certain parts we are going to see here is part of part of this mass right here and this mass right here that is going to be in a dashed line okay because uh, whatever we see above it will be in a hidden or a dashed line now now we make sure to 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 basically kind of clean up these drawings fix them a little bit so that uh, they will be in a correct um, correct pre presentation style. So I would probably go to copy CO, copy this guy and this guy, and perhaps these from that corner to this corner, and trim these up so that. So that I'll have the line work on here, and this one I could change it to another layer as a, as a overhead something, which reminds me there should be a line over here that has an overhead thing. So copy this guy and this guy from there to there, and I'll try to keep in mind or try to remind myself that these guys need to be hatched and in different layers. Okay, so I have the basic parts to compose my my board, right? So what I'm going to do is to go to the home bar or home uh, ribbon and do so, do so I'm proceeding to clean that up. Okay, but for now let's do that in a different video.